I have no idea if I'm in frame or not. So I thought I would have like this fun challenge for myself um, while it's the weekend that I have a list of, I think, six things that are really little projects. <coughs> Teddy! <coughs> Teddy! <coughs> Teddy! What are you barking at? Teddy. Teddy. Hey. Stop that. Anyways. So as I was saying, I have all these projects that are like big projects that are like kind of stuck. I um, have to go to town for them and things like that. Not really ready to go to town. I don't need to go to town for groceries and stuff. So I decided it would be a fun challenge to write down all these little projects and just knock them out. Um, get them done this weekend and then I can feel really good about myself. And yeah, so let's pick one and just get started on it. look good. So I'm assuming that it just needs more water so I'm gonna start making sure to water it more. Like when I run my um, washing machine I'll make sure to grab some buckets from that and dump it on here and things like that. But yeah he kind of looks a little sad.
didn't get through everything. They're still a little bit over by the pile, but like there's a huge thunderstorm. Take a look. Look at that. Okay, if I come and I talk, keep watching. Oh my gosh, what dust am I? Is? Keep watching. You might see a thunderstrike behind me. Um, I'm going to clean up my mess here and then go in so I don't get murdered by mother nature. Um, but I'm not a fan of this wood chipper, so don't see me using it and go, oh, I'm going to go get one. It's the one at Harbor Freight. Um, like, I don't think it's great. There's a lot of really big pieces. It didn't chop up the palm fronds at all. Anything that was still soft green wood, it just like peeled it. It didn't chop it at all. So I'm a little bit miffed. Um, but anyways, like I said, there's still some more by the pile. And then I have another pile of scrap wood that before I started the other pile also had branches in it. So I'm going to pull the branches out of that so it can be just scrap wood, like plywood and pieces of like two by four and stuff like that. Um, cause I'm not sure if I'm going to burn that stuff yet. You're not really supposed to, um, they can have chemicals if they're treated and everything. Um, but I do have burn piles left from the previous owner that I have to get to at some point. Apparently February is the right month to burn here. So, um, probably in February I'll burn those piles and, um, then everything else I'll just throw away. I don't know. That is very ominous. Ooh, that sounded very above me. I'm gonna stop talking now. Bye! Actually, if it's gonna rain, and it kind of looks like it's raining, I want my rain barrel under my gutters. Ah, okay. Can I do this really quick? I need gloves. I was all ready to be done for the night, for the day at least. For now. Oh, I'm glad I emptied it though. I am so sorry. All the little lizards I'm sure are living in here. And I'm not sorry to all before the storm. The question is, do I have it lined up well? I think this way, yes, but I think the other way, it might be a little bit far. Oh yeah, um, it needs to come over. Uh, yeah, uh, it needs to be a few higher. Here. Can you see on the phone how much thicker that is? It's really fun to stack. Ah, I'm slipping, I'm slipping, I'm slipping. I do not have the grip strength for this. I got a layer of thick board.
hear the Hummer. He's buzzing angrily. Like, leave. I'm thirsty. Eventually, I want to have a rain chain coming right down into the spout. And then the other one, obviously, is like an air outlet. I have to finish. <laughs> finish. I haven't even started. I have to paint the fascia and then put gutters in before I can do that. So, alrighty. Let's see if there's even rain. Okay, I came in. I made a banana bread. We'll see how that bakes stovetop because I literally have no oven. And the storm is totally here. This is like half as hard as it was blowing. Gotten a little bit of rain, but not enough that the ground is still wet. Yeah. Oh, Mister's all freaked out. He keeps barking. Are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared of the lightning? Okay, well, my battery backup works because it started beeping at me because we lost power. I'm waiting for my computer to shut down. My banana bread. I have no power. I hope it comes back soon. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I think of this? Giant blowing windstorm. Um, not good. Not good for baking. Damn. Okay, I flipped it. It sat. I did a toothpick test on it. Let me put you down. I'll flip it over onto the plate and show you. Because it looks perfect. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I need a slice. Oh my god, it's perfect. It's so moist. <gasps> okay, while it's not downpouring at this exact moment, I want to come and see how my barrel is doing. Okay. I'm literally missing a really big downspout. Can I move this? Do you think it's gonna fall off like that? I think it'll be okay, just for tonight. Cause the wind's not blowing this way. I guess I'll find out if I'm wrong. Ooh, lightning.
I'm done. I give up. It just won't chew anything anymore. I don't know if the blades wore out already or what, but like, it's just like it's turning stuff into strips like it used to make pieces much smaller than this but now all the pieces are super big so i think i'm gonna take it back which i feel bad about doing because i've used it obviously a lot but it has serious kickback too. Um, I'll show you later because the bruise is still developing. I have a bruise on my palm from the kickback. I've been like, my hands really actually pretty hurt from kickback on it. Oh, the other thing is that I, I'm sure you guys noticed, I have to keep opening it. Um, and this screw that holds it together is actually breaking. Like the threads are unthreading, like there's a bunch of metal shards in there. Um, and I'm not cross-threaded or anything. It's like it gets to the very end and it doesn't want to let go. And so it's stripping the threads at the very end instead of just letting it go. I don't know, man. So stick it in the van and take it back. Okay, I'm pulling an audible. The rocks and probably the garden tools are not gonna happen. Um, but I do want to process this. Um, I wanna sift all the dirt out of it and see how much dirt I actually have. And then sift all the garbage out of it because there's a lot of garbage. Um, Cause this whole area they were using as a dump and that's where all of this came from. Oh, gloves. I don't know if you guys can see um right there well, this is super backlit here <laughs> um right here that all you can see is where it's scratched i think but there's a whole bruise like this whole area is bruised on my hand from the chipper and like right in here and this finger is like bruised and like dislocated from it because of the kickback she scared the crap out of a lizard he was over there one time when i turned this pile there's a cockroach a big one so fingers crossed for me I should get the trash can out here and actually be throwing the garbage in the trash can if I'm noticing it and picking it out like that. I should see all the bugs that are trying to crawl out of this dirt. There was a cockroach at one point, that's why I got the spray out, but I can't find him now. I don't know if he dug himself down or what, but there's spiders. A lot of those little 
camel spiders. I call them silverfish in my head. I don't know if they're the same thing, but they look like silverfish from like Minecraft. <laughs> and then a ton of little black beetles. The soil like literally looks alive. Also, that's all the garbage that I picked out and I really didn't do a very good job. I'm sure there's still plenty in here. Um, so I'm gonna go make a dirt pile over by my compost. And then I'm gonna rake all of that back to its spot over there and call it a day. any of these I can carry. Thank you. 